Hello everybody. So I'm making this video to show you how far I am doing mining. I've been mining for about 27 hours now, um, but there are interruptions. Okay. Um, one of the interruptions I had was mining on another platform. So I am mining on ethermine.org um, I had mine on another platform known as NiceHash so on uh, ethermine I have mine for 27 hours um, but there are some interruptions when I started mining um, I went to Nice hash, I mined for a few hours. And then there was, uh, there were a couple times that the computer was itself not mining. So yeah, other than that, so let's see about 27, uh, two, 20 hours mining on this platform. And I have about this Ethereum. Now let's see that in US dollars. I understand that a lot better. So luckily I can toggle. This is Bitcoin. It will tell me my balance in Bitcoin and my balance is in US dollars. So in about 20 hours, I have made close to 20 bucks, close to 20, um, $20. Um, my, this estimate uh, right now at the current speed that I'm working at, which is at about 100, mega hertz per second i'll be making about 17 and a half us dollars a day at this speed so the more speed the more the money um so this platform as well as this platform they are pools p o o l Yes, they are pools and what they do let me show you you basically contribute the speed of your GPU if you are mining through GPU and I'll show you in a little bit what part of your computer you can use to mine but so far there are over 20 200 and 280 for thousand miners 284 thousand miners that is a lot all mining one crypto ethereum all mining ethereum this 284 thousand um includes me so this is what people do instead of mining on your computer alone by yourself you use this um, this kind of uh, website, they call them pools, and um, you join others. At the end, whatever that um, the miners get is shared according to how you contribute, what speed you contribute. So if you contribute a lot, you get more. But this money, this is how much these active miners which includes me we are getting and this money is divided i think this this is a day we we'll get this a day um and this is divided among these miners um so yeah um let me show you the other platform it's also a pool this platform called nice hash um, one of the interruptions I had was I tried NiceHash. NiceHash.com, that's the name of the site. And for the brief time I mined, I had about less than a dollar. And I switched back to this platform. I'm still testing out these platforms, uh, but so far I'm happy with uh, this platform. Um, when you go to ethermine.org, it will actually tell you 
like how to start the mining. Um, so for me, I'm using Indivia uh, graphics uh, card. I'm mining using my graphics card. Let me show you what uh, you need to mine. This is a website called uh, what, am I, what to Mine. Sorry, what to mine .com. Um, So basically, right? The the major ways you can mine is either through using GPUs or graphics card. As you can see, there are all kinds of graphics card, and this is how much you can get at their maximum speed a day. This 23.77 US dollars is just the profit. This is how much you get a day. Um, so the difference is the, when you subtract how much you pay for power, assuming you pay about 10 cents. This is 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So you can make uh, at least 20 bucks a day if you can max out the power on this. And this is the, the graphics card that I got. Like I told you, I'm mining through a GPU. Um, so this is the graphics card that I got, but I'm not maxing it. I'm absolutely not maxing it. Um, as you can see, um, the average hash rate is about 114 and I'm at 105. So I still have a long way to go. It takes a little bit of fine tuning to actually get that speed. Um, so that's one of the things that I'm working on. You can also mine, so this is GPU mining. Um, if you want, you can just come to this page, pick a GPU and go to see if you can find it. Um, all right. One other way to mine is using ASIC miners. ASIC miner, I think ASIC means application specific integrated circuit or something like that. The only thing that this thing does is to mine. It doesn't do anything else. It's just to mine. So... And this is the profit. It's a huge profit, people. 424 US dollars profit a day if you can get this computer. And um, this computer, it's not even released yet. But I bet it's actually been sold, sold out if you try to check it. So... Yeah, one of my plans is to get hold of this uh, computer someday. There's, there's quite a few of them. Um, so we'll see how far I'm liking the mining itself. But so far, so good. So you can mine either using ASIC miner or using your GPU. These are the two most profitable mining hardware. Um, so yeah, that is really the update that I wanted to share with you. This is my miner, and my major plan now is to get this speed up. I think some actually can get up to 120 megahertz per second. Um, definitely one of the things I want to achieve. And uh, one of the things I want to do as well is to get this temperature low. This is the GPU. Uh, this is the GPU memory junction temperature. It's not the actual GPU temperature. Right now, I'm mining at forty-seven point five degrees centigrade. But the junction of my memory. If you don't know what that is, that is fine. Um, it is recommended that you mine at around, if you want to constantly mine 24 hours a day, nonstop, um, it's recommended you mine at less than 100. So um, there are 
things I could do to reduce this to like 80. Um, one of uh, which is basically to to buy like a temperature pad, something that can absorb the heat away from the GPU memory. Um, I just ordered mine today and I will see how it goes. But yeah, other than this temperature and trying to get the speed, um, so far so good. Um, this software is called the MSI Afterburner. Uh, if you, when you download it, um, this way you can adjust the speed of your GPU. Again, I'm mining using my GPU and I can adjust these um, couple settings to be able to achieve that speed. That speed that I want, um, this is one of the ways that I can play with. So I'm still playing with this. I still haven't achieved it yet. Um, now, I can... One of the things that is stopping me from really trying to achieve the speed is because my my GPU is getting really hot and I don't want to push my lock. It degrades, so over time, if you are mining at really high temperature, the efficiency of your GPU is reduced. So, um, otherwise, so as you can see, I'm not even, the power limit, I'm not even using much. Well, I'm using about 80. Um, and I could push that to close to 100. Um, so, but I don't want to do that now. I just want to leave it at that temperature until I fix it. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.